Sentencing day for the man convicted in a wrong way crash, claiming the life of a UCO student. Marissa Morrow was driving along the Kilpatrick Turnpike back in October of 2020 when she was hit head on. She was 19 years old. The man who hit her had been drinking for nearly 10 hours prior to getting behind the wheel. His blood alcohol level twice the legal limit. But today, a bizarre turn of events in the courtroom. The sentencing for Malcolm Penny delayed because of a paperwork error. So they couldn't do the actual sentencing because of paperwork problems. News Force Caitlin Ogle with more from Marissa's frustrated family. Katie? Well, now Murrow's family is hoping the sentencing will go through in early February. The parents say they're frustrated and disappointed. Friends and family actually taking off work and some flying in to be at the Canadian County Courthouse. But her parents say they're thankful they could at least read impact statements today. It's difficult to ask people to take their time to come and support you know, you to be there for Marissa and to see that justice is done only to then have it delayed again and again and again. Many of these people took off work and rescheduled their lives to be here. Friends and family of Marissa Murrow packing the Canadian County Courthouse Tuesday, all waiting to see Malcolm Penny sentenced for the 19 year old's death. Again, due to no fault of, you know, ours or the prosecutions or anything, it's delayed again, um, waiting on a report. October 3rd, 2020, Murrow's life was cut short. Oklahoma State Troopers say Penny was drunk, driving the wrong way down the Kilpatrick Turnpike near Southwest 15th when he crashed into her car head on. She later died at the hospital. Investigators say the 39 year old had been drinking for 10 hours before getting behind the wheel. Court documents show he's now had five DUIs in Texas, Kansas, Louisiana, and Oklahoma. Had he served time for his fourth, she'd be here. He's already proven that he will drink and he will drive again. Um, and he doesn't seem to have a desire to change that behavior. Instead of seeing Penny's sentence handed down, the courtroom hearing from Murrow's loved ones about the grief they've suffered. Through the five impact statements that were made, you got a really good picture of who she was. And I think we stood up for her and did the right, you know, did it right. We were just very proud that they had such a high esteem for Marissa that they felt that it was right to do that. That's very special to us. And Penny pled guilty to second degree murder and no contest to leaving the scene of a deadly accident. Murrow's family is asking the judge to give Penny the maximum sentence, saying they want to spare other families from this grief.